Hello again, Mrs. Mitchell's Maths Group. Today, we're going to be looking at subtraction where we might need to exchange a 10 for some 1s to help us with our subtraction. Let's look at this example. I've got 245 and I want to take away 3. So we know that if I take away 3, I'm just going to take away 3 1s, which will leave me with 242. Let's pop that in there. Now, what if I wanted to take away 8? I've only got 5 1s here. So what would I need to do to take away 8? That's right, I'm going to have to exchange. I'm going to have to take so these tens and turn them into ones and i'm not sure i'm going to be able to draw all those little ones in i'll try my best make them quite small say one two three four five six seven eight nine Let's check them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm going to cross that one out. It's a bigger line for that, I think. There we go, crossed it out. So now I've still got 245, but I have enough ones to take 8 away. So if I take 8 away, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, and my number is two hundred and thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two hundred and forty-five take away eight is two hundred and thirty-seven. So would you like to try this one for me? I've got 311 and I need to take away 7. So get yourself a piece of paper and a pencil. And if you need to pause the video, do. And then we'll look at it together in a minute. OK, so I need to exchange this 10 for some 1s because I've not got enough 1s here. Let's draw them in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 and now we need to take 7 away 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and that leaves me with 8 so my number is 308 so 311 take away 7 is 308 OK, so let's have a look carefully at these now. You can draw them using place value counters if you like. But you're going to tick the ones where you might need to exchange a 10 for 10 ones in order to do this calculation. So pause the video and have a little think about it. OK, so that's a straightforward takeaway. Uh, I've only got three ones here and I need to take away five, so I'm going to need some exchange there. And I've only got three ones here and I need to take away eight, so I'm going to need some exchange there. I've got five ones and I need to take away eight, so I'm going to have to exchange. I've got five ones and I need to take away one, that'll be okay. I've got five ones and I need to take away five, that will be okay. I've got two ones and I need to take away seven, so I don't have enough, I need to exchange. I've got two ones and I need to take away six, so I will need to exchange. And I've got two ones, but I need to take away three, so I will need to exchange them. OK, now we're going to do a takeaway using our number line, but we're only going to do two jumps. So I'm starting at 135, I need to take away eight. I know I can split eight, do a cherry diagram. Let's split 8 into 5 and 3, and I think that's quite important for me. So let's do my jump of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's my jump of 5. Let's take away 5. 
And here's my jumper three. Take away three. So 135 take away eight is 127. Let's try it on this one. If I do my cherry diagram, I know that I can do two and five to make seven. So that should help us. So we're starting at four, two, two. I'm going to take away 2 to get me to 4, 20. I'm going to take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that will take me to 4, 1, 5. 415. Okay, you try that one on your own. So my cherry diagram, my part whole model, I take away one to get me to 250. And then I'm going to take away eight. To get me to 240. 240. Two. So a baker bakes 230, 223 loaves of bread. He eats six loaves of bread. How many loaves of bread does he have left? So that's 220. Three loaves of bread and eat six, so I'm going to need some exchange. There are ones and our tens and our hundreds. And now I need to take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm left with seven. So that's 217. Okay, using a similar method, using your base 10 or place value counters, would you like to try these? I'm not going to go through the answers with you now. You're going to pause the video, have a go and send them to me to let me see. OK, so here's a new question for us. The answer to the calculation is 507. Whose subtraction is correct? So Mo says when he takes 9 from 512, he's left with 507. And Dexter says... When he takes 8 from 512, he's left with 507. Who's right? And what mistake did the other child make? Pause the video and have a think. OK, so if we take 9 away from 512, take away 9, that's going to leave us 500 and three if i take eight away from 515 it's going to leave us 507 so dexter is correct and i think that mo has not completed the exchange there he's done two take away 97 and that's not right okay so how many different ways can you complete this calculation? So I've got 360 something and I take something away and I've got 357. So I could start off by saying 360 take away 3 will give me 357. What other calculations could we do so that our answer 
is 357. Have a go and try it. Send it to me when you've done it. Now, we've got some number sentences here. We need to balance them out because we've got an equal sign in here. So have a little go at the number sentences for me. Do the one side that's complete before you do the missing calculation. So 623 take away 7 is 600 and... Sorry about that, children got distracted by somebody there. I do apologise. So 623 take away 7 is 616. So 613 add 3 will give us 616. So try those for me. Pause the video and have a go. And again, you can send them to me when you've done them. And we've come to the end of today's lesson. What I'd like you to do is to go back to this website and practice again. Practice your number bonds so that you can do them super, super quickly. And I'll see you again tomorrow.